Hey guys, JoeBiz34, uh, back again. It's been a while since I've done a Godzilla review. It's actually been a while since I've done any review, but I uh, wanted to do a quick one here because I uh, got this bad boy in, and he wasn't uh, originally a planned purchase, but I saw an opportunity to pick one of these up, and I was kind of late to the game, so I didn't get the Rick Boy this time, uh, which uh, I believe the only difference there is a, uh, a stand that goes by his feet that has, like, land and then, like, little power cables and stuff, which is cool, but doesn't take away the awesomeness of having the figure without that. And, um, you know, this one's not gimmicky. It just kind of has a specific pose as far as, uh, you know, a, a specific moment in the film, not like light up fins or nothing else going on there. Fins are still great, you know, typical quality, just like the other FSL of him. And I would say, to be honest with you, this is a really nice sculpt of him. And maybe one of the best yet, I'd have to say. And I don't know if it's because of the positioning, but the way it has the arms and the way, you know, he's got that step forward. It looks exactly out of that, that moment in the film that they, they took this from uh, in Godzilla vs. Kong, or King Kong. And, um, you know, it just, it's just amazing. It's just an amazing piece. This, is, this, this piece will go and complement uh, the, uh, you know, the custom 62 Kong model kit I, I have uh, perfectly. And um, again, I have the other two. I have the original X Plus release, uh, the 30 centimeter that came out several years ago. I have the original FSL Rick Boy that has the light up, you know, the light up fins and all that. And now I have this guy. And uh, again, this is, you know, one of the best yet as far as uh, the look and the pose, everything, I, I would think. And I would say if you have some of the other ones, and if you're a 62 fanatic, you know, as far as liking this look, I would definitely say this is worth picking up. If you don't have any, I would say this is definitely a top contender to get to represent the 62 Godzilla. And, um, you know, but I have all three for now, and I don't, I don't want to give up any of them. I, I love this look for some reason, the 62 look. It's just so retro and unique compared to, you know, what he looked like later on. But... It's really cool, and it, they really they really captured the the rubber suit look with this one. The way the arms are bending here, and the way the the costume kind of bends, and it just it's just it's really nice. So they they really did a great job, and I definitely think it's an improvement over the first FSL. You know, the first FSL has its pluses and minuses too. The color is a little lighter green than this one. This one I feel, and I could maybe shift it a little bit so you could see the light better. But I feel like the green is a little darker and a little more you know, truer to the first X plus, X plus release of him, where, you know, he's a little darker, where the first FSL release, uh, which was the second 62 Godzilla from X plus, had a definitely like a lighter green to it, which, you know, I don't have any complaints, but this one just seems to be, you know, better as far as the, the overall look, the color, the tone, everything, and, and, it, and again, especially the positioning. So I, I feel like this is more uh, accurate, you know, overall. But one, it's a great, like I said, either way, you, you can't go wrong with any of the 62 X Pluses. I think they all did a great job. Even in the 25 centimeter line, you know, there's some really nice choices there. But for 30 centimeter, I would definitely recommend this one. Uh, if you're kind of more for the, the gimmicky Rick Boy stuff, I would definitely, you know, suggest maybe trying to get the one with the, the, the stand or, or the other one with the light up fins. Maybe have, you know, or maybe have one of each like I do. <laughs> but um, it's, it's really good. The sculpt is good. I love the, the raw, the open mouth. Look at the, the details on the tongue in there. It's just really, really well done. Really well done. I really like, I really enjoy it. It's really, really a nice and a, and a welcome surprise. I, I picked this up. I got it quick. And again, I probably could have picked up the Rick Boy. But in this sense, I, I you know, I just, I, it wasn't as a priority for me, you know, because it was really just down to the stand. Now, the only thing I will say is my pet peeve again, and I've stated this in other reviews, I, I, I really hate when you have to depend on these these tail stands uh, in, order, or in order to get them to pose right. Um, I don't know. There's just something about that that always bugs me. I, I, I wish, you know, he could stand without it. I mean, I'm sure you could probably, again, prop it up or maybe lean the tail on a shelf or something so that you don't need that and i don't know i don't have the rick boy version i'm sure somebody can answer that for me maybe if you have the stand maybe the stand helps him stand better without the the, the tail stand i don't know if you have the base i'm not sure but you know besides that little pet peeve and you know and the funny thing too the tease is that a lot of times when you open these things up before you put the tail on 
he, the center of gravity is there. He can stand. But then once you put the tail on, that's what adds that extra weight that makes him topple, uh, which I almost did by accident. <laughs> uh, you know, and that's when you need the, the, the tail stand. So I was happy at first because I said, oh, you know, he stands fine. I don't need the tail stand. And there's some of them you could cheat and not, you know, definitely, you definitely don't have to use the stand, the tail stand. But this one, once you, you know, put this tail on, you definitely need the this to make him stand right because of this specific pose of his foot being up here. He, he definitely will topple over without that. So unless you can prop him up on something or make it work kind of in your display where you don't have to depend on this, you, you need that. So that's that's my only negative because I really don't like tail stands. I feel, I feel like it takes away from the overall authentic look of it or the realistic look of it seeing that, you know, that's there. But, you know, once again, when you look at it dead on or if you have it displayed facing this way, you really don't, you know, have to worry about seeing that. It's not jarring or anything that's really getting in the way of the overall look. So, again, a minor negative, but, you know, other people probably don't care. The teeth are painted really nice. It's uh, the eyes, the eyes are positioned nice. I like the eyeballs. I like the way, I don't know, I just, I think everything is really, I think this one, they really knocked it out of the park as far as the overall look. So, FSL. Godzilla 62, I guess 2.0. <laughs> the, uh, the I guess they call them the the, the walking the walking version, or, or I forgot exactly how they word it, but it's it's the it's the walking position one, and it's you know I think it came out about maybe a month or two ago. I actually had him with me for a bit. I just it just took me a bit to do a video a review of him. So there you have it, Godzilla 62, awesome. And I love the look, so I, you can't lose no matter which X plus 62 you own. So there you go. I'm going to display them next to my Kong. All right, till next time, guys. Peace out.